Well, hello everybody, and welcome to this new episode of G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, I, I lit off the waste oil burner, and the dogs came in to enjoy the warmth. They're all uh, laying in a line out here, just picking up the warmth and staying out of the wind and the cold. So, what did I do? Well, as a test to see if it was the burner uh, plate that wasn't heating up enough, which was really, really telling me that was what it was, I uh, searched around. I didn't have a pan small enough, but I said, well, you know what? I got that little piece of metal I bent halfway into a tube uh, sitting in the other uh, shop when I was putting together the pipe for here and I was showing the jig I made for bending it. And I said, well, I wonder if I just put that in the burn plate and let that get hot, if that'll do the same thing as vaporizing. So that's what I did. I brought it in, I put it in there, and uh, one thing I found out was that when I did the burn test after I put the chimney on, it never burned off all of the uh, oil because the burn plate never got hot enough to vaporize it. So I'm going to be putting a latch on this door, but look at this. Yeah! Yes, sirree! So I got that little curved plate in there, which is heating up faster than the, the base the bass bowl or uh, the brake drum and uh, it's hot enough to vaporize the oil and this is burning uh, it's been burning now for probably 45 minutes almost an hour um, since I lit it off just on the leftover oil that was still in the brake drum from yesterday's burn and it's putting off a little bit of heat but not enough yet so I'm going to modify it to make sure I do get more let's see what we got here down by the burn chamber uh, 330 degrees Fahrenheit 167.4 Celsius that's not bad so about midway up, let's see, 117, 117 to 18 degrees Celsius, 245 degrees Fahrenheit. The top, 228 degrees Fahrenheit, 109.2 degrees Celsius. But check this out, 23.8 Celsius. 72 degrees Fahrenheit so my stack isn't getting very hot at all and that's a good thing um, I was worried about how much heat it was going to put off around the wood up there but it's doing fine even up at the top up there it's only 75 degrees it gets hotter than that in here in the daytime so I put some Teflon tape on there but I'm still getting a little bit of a leak down there on the board. So I'm going to disassemble that whole section right there. Put in a new coupler and a new nipple. That's a, an electrical um, coupler. It's not a plumbing coupler. So I'll get a good galvanized or black iron um, coupler and replace that with, with the, uh, the right coupler. And that should solve the leak problem. Now, I haven't put any oil down this thing yet today to, uh, to, to add oil to it. So, it's doing a great job as it is. Let's see where we're at now. Oh, 360, 370, 380. Eh, it's warming up a little bit. 380 degrees Fahrenheit is... 193.6 Celsius. Yeah. 
that's going to be great. I can feel the heat here. It feels good, but I want this thing to be reading. When I look down there, I want it to be reading 600, 700 degrees, and that'll put off a lot of heat. And then my plan is to mount a fan right here behind it, blowing that air out through the shop. Of course, I'm sure it'll get a lot warmer in this shop when I close that overhead door and just use this door to come in and out of. As you saw earlier, I can do that. So, just wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna let this thing just burn out on what it's got here. I don't know how long that's gonna burn, but I may just leave the garage door open here and uh, I'm gonna go in and get my dinner started and give this a, a little while to burn down and come back out and check it. So thank you for joining me, everybody. Don't forget your thumbs up down there. Don't forget to share and subscribe and comments all the way down at the bottom. This is G-Bear warming up and signing off.